what we'll do is we'll come back to the ratios because we're going to um, just do a returns analysis for the final part of the model. So we looked at the mezzanine uh, and we modelled out the mezzanine with the first part of the interest. What we're missing is the equity kicker, so that last little part of the return that will boost the overall internal rate of return on the mezzanine up to 12%. Now, in terms of the way we're modelling this, we're going to model the dilution from the mezzanine first, and then we're going to model some dilution from the management options. So two different stages. In terms of the mezzanine, um, in terms of the formula that we're using for this, remember we had our principal is equal to the first, in this case it would be the first four years coupon, discounted at the IRR of 12%. Then in the final year, we're taking the coupon plus the principal uh, plus a kicker and discounting that by 1 plus R 12% for the holding period of five years. Now what you've got to do is you've got to rearrange this formula so that you are calculating what the kicker is. And in the model, what we've done is we've helped you out because we have the principal, the bond price, that's the amount that we've invested in the bond or uh, in terms of the capital structure, the proportion that relates to the, the mezzanine, so the three billion. The coupon, well, those are the interest payments on the mezzanine. We've already modeled those, the 4%. 120 million a year and what we've done is we have uh, put those into a total cash flow analysis and split that up so the first part of the equation I've just shown you in terms of the present value of those coupons you can calculate separately. In the last year you've got the coupon, the principal which is the same as the bond price and then you have to put a formula in for the equity kicker. That's the tricky bit.